Go ahead, please. You're talking to Tony. Hello. Hey, good day, Tony. Oh, that sounds like massive. Yeah, hey, mate. Yeah, I'm all right, mate. Yourself? Oh, good, good. I got a uh, got a suggestion from the Snow Dollar, you know, a special one. <laughs> what way on me got? Uh, you know, for everyone on a cold winter's day at the footy. Right. Is this you? The, the deli that you and Ten run? You mean Ten? Right. Well. Actually, how's Ten coping with the cold weather? Oh, good. He's pretty well insulated, Ten. <laughs> but uh, this is for all the thin, you know, skinny blokes under under 25 stone. <laughs> right. Who are going to the footy and uh, need something to pep them up. I call it the hot fat footy snack. <laughs> now, your ingredients, it's very easy to make this. Right. And, uh, you know, it's no trouble. You make it on the day. Right. In what? In, what? One, what? In, 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 like, in a saucepan? Oh, no, mate. Well, I suppose if you've got a big enough. Oh. No, you're better off in the 44-gallon drum, I find. <laughs> the cutaway one? Yeah. Right. You want a kilo of fat? Mm. Uh, one thick, crusty loaf of bread? <laughs> this is just for one. One snack. Uh, four pints of batter. That's all there is to it. <laughs> And what you do is you cut the loaf in half, remove the centres, leaving only the crust, <laughs> melt the fat and heat till smoking and very hot. Can allow to go a little bit brown the fat. No problem there. Then you pour one pint of the batter into half the loaf top and then you, you top it up with the boiling fat. You repeat that on the other half and you'll find the batter will brown up nice underneath and you add the nice fat in the two halves, close them together, drop the whole thing into the rest of the batter. Beautiful. Then drop it into a vat of boiling oil and you'll find that that hot fat in the centre will stay hot for about two and a half hours. You bite into it at the game. Beautiful. Really warm you up. Don't. I can't say anything. I can't breathe. Um. Go ahead, please. Tony. Yep. Ah, uh, it's Jock here. Yes, Jock. I'm ringing in from Jolly Monk. Yeah, righto. I've been really impressed with the football this year. Yeah. Because they've been employing a lot of soccer tactics, Tony. Yeah, right. And uh, you know a lot of soccer. Yep. Now, Tony. Yep. I went down to see North Melbourne the other day. Right. I like that team. Mm. They got uh, McDonald. Mm. And they got McRae. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. They got some good boys down there, Tony. Right, yep. Now, Tony. Mm. I saw that uh, Donald McDonald down there at uh, training at North Melbourne. Mm. And uh, he doesn't wear any shorts, Tony. He doesn't wear any shorts? 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 No. What does he wear? I don't know. I just went up and said, Donald, where's your trousers? Oh. Okay, <laughs> right. Thanks very, <laughs> thanks very <laughs> much for that, <laughs> Joe. Oh, what? Uh, what? When's uh, Austin McCrabb going to be back in the Geelong side? That's my question. <laughs> oh, I don't. Look, I'll check that. I'll have an answer for you next week. I don't think much of him as a player, but I like his name. Oh, right. Okay, right. <laughs> next caller, go ahead, please. Hello. 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 <laughs> Who's this? It's Mr Leonard. Yes. It's Timmy here. Hello, Timmy. How are you? Oh, I'm good. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Have you been playing football lately? Yes. All right. With the socks? No. With the football. All right. Okie dokie. All right. Yes. I've got to... Got a question. Right. Where do you think Collingwood will finish this year? Well, that's a very good question, and it's great to hear that our young listeners are getting a right into the spirit of things. And I've got Mr Richardson here too, Timmy. Would you like his opinion? No. <laughs> well, look, I'll tell you what. I think I'm pretty sure Collingwood will finish in the top five, but... I don't know that they'll win the double chance. 